We've got an ultra trail for you. It's just under seven meters and it's an ultra trail Navajo. It's four berth, but it does only have two belted seats. So let's have a look at this van. Let's get it set up and see what you think of the ultra trail. Don't forget to, if you're enjoying the videos, to like and subscribe and let's go and have a look at this van. Right, so we're in the front of the cab. As I said, it's a 2011. It's done roughly 38,000 miles. It's a 2.3, so it is a cam belt, not a chain. So cam belts roughly should be changed every five years. Um, it's three and a half thousand kilograms in weight. Uh, it's six speed uh, manual. Um, we have also got cruise control on it as well. We've got a media pack. Um, that's got the reversing camera in that, hasn't it? Yeah, got the reversing camera in, it's air conditioning, we've got the blown air, and then we do have the blinds and the front windscreen, and also the blinds on the passenger and the driver's side. Um, we've got electric windows, driving passenger, and electric mirrors. Um, so that's done with the cab. Let's get round the van and let's get this van set up. Okay, so first thing we're coming to, let's lift this up. And what we've got, we've got a leisure battery, ample of room there for putting two leisure batteries in. Um, hook up there, which we plugged in. There is our waste. Um, so everything that goes down a plug hole goes into a waste tank, and that's where we empty it out. So we'll carry on. So what we've got next, flu four hour hot water system. And then what we do have here is an outside shower as well. Next to that cassette toilet, nice and easy to open, don't forget, if you get any resistance, it's because you've not closed the toilet on the inside. We also have another hatch as well, good area there for storage. And then making our way around the back of the van, we have got a tow bar with it, also this is where the spare wheel is, basically it's unlock it there and then it's on a nut, which you pull the nut off and we take the spare wheel off. We've got the reversing camera above, and then we do also have ladders for actually getting onto the roof. And then moving down to the passenger side, outside barbecue point, um, fresh water filler, so that's where we put the fresh water into the fresh water tank, so then we can use the taps um, for the water system. We do have a little security device. These are good for getting into the van, and then when we lock the van up, we can basically um, put that in position. It's just another added security, really. Have you noticed we've got an electric step and then just above, good size awning with an awning light. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll get the awning out now. So this is an Omnistad awning, dead simple. We can wind it out. I'm not going to take it all the way out. And then all we do then, if you just see there, if we just push that, that drops the leg down. And then we can put it to whatever height we want. Make sure that it is higher than the hab door because um, it'll keep catching on the hab door every time you come in and out of it. So it will extend out. It will extend all the way out. Obviously, I haven't put it all the way out because obviously we've got the bit of the road here as well. Now, next thing we come to, we have a bench seat inside. This is access underneath the bench seat. If you notice there, uh, we do have a plug, a 230 plug. And here's our gas locker. It's got no locks on. How are we going to open that? Dead simple. If we just have a look behind the driver, and then I'll just lift that up. And then if you see, that's open the gas locker. Good room there for two bottles in, so I'll just switch the gas on. And then we're good to go to get inside. So we put the water in the van, we switch the gas on. And what else have we done? Put the water in the van, switch the gas on. Oh, we put a hook up in so we can use 230. So let's get inside the van, let's have a look at it and get it set up. Okie dokie, as you can see, a quick look at the van before we set it up. Kitchen area at the back. 
we've got a separate term um, shower and toilet and then if you just have a look at the front then we've got the two bench seats um, with all the cupboards above and then you've got the overhead cab so let's get some lights on in the van um, over to the control panel quite a nice control panel actually so we'll switch that on that's the awning light that's for our lights that's our pumps and then now uh, that's for switching them on and off the lights leisure back to your vehicle and then we've got our temperature gauge there what that is is in the fresh water tank there's a little 12 volt heater so if it's really cold basically you can put that on so, the, so it doesn't freeze up inside and then on the control panel you can then scroll through to all the various levels and everything else basically right so we've got the gas on let's just draw some gas through Ooh, we've got another light there we can put on there we go that's better right to so get some gas coming through there we go and if you notice at the back we do have a hot plate now that'll only work when we've got a hook up in the van so we've got some gas coming through let's prime up so don't forget we have the fresh water tank we've also got the hot water tank so we've got to get water and fill up the hot water tank so we shall um, put the pump on and get it primed up now I have all, already primed this van up so roughly it normally takes a couple of minutes to prime the van up because you're putting 10 to 15 litres into the hot water tank so once you put the pump on the fresh water I'll, from the fresh water tank I'll go into the hot water tank and then fill it up and then the pump will go off um, every time we use the hot water it'll automatically refill back up again basically so we've got the um, the fresh water and the hot water now all primed up so we'll move on now to the fridge so we've got a three-way fridge there we go for switching it on and then we've got the three options it's gone to gas because that's the last thing we used and we also have an option there if we press that twice it goes to electric and uh, we've got a fault coming on the leisure battery that's because the engine's not um on because the alternator basically um, charges the battery up and um, why the van's going um, to keep the fridge cold because if it didn't it'd flatten the battery within an hour or two so you will get a fault light as soon as you put the engine on then it will work on the leisure battery so we've got the gas on on the fridge so let's just move we've got good wardrobes here so we've got nice wardrobe and then the freestanding table I do like how the light is in there as well and then why I'm in here Another important thing to show you, let's just have a look. Can you see there the water heater? That's the water heater that we primed up. And then, I don't know if you're going to see this, because I can't see it either. You'll probably struggle to see there, but right down there is a yellow lever. And what that yellow lever does, that empties the water out the hot water tank. So it's right the way down. Um, you will have to just feel then just to lift it up. Right, so just below that, we do have our gas fire. Same way as doing your hobs. Hold down, can you hear the igniter? And now that's lit. If you can just hear that. You do have a spiral there to look down on. You probably won't see the flame on the camera. if you can hear it that is lit and then we do have blown air that we can adjust the fan on and it goes around all the vents so you can use the blown air if you haven't got the fire on so it'll just blow cold air if we've got the fire on as it warms up it'll then send um, warm air around the van so i'll just switch that off now remember when, when, when i'm losing my words here remember when we lit the fire let's just turn that round again i've switched it off you can hear the tick 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 that's the igniter now just under the fire so just under the fire can you just see it's probably a bit awkward to see there is a battery there so i'll just push the flat pack down now that battery um works the igniter so what people do forget about when they've laid up over winter that battery will go flat so when they do try and do the igniter can you hear it 
it won't work so just remember you have got a battery underneath there so if you're not using it um, over winter just take the battery out really so as well the added bonus with this fire as well as using it on the gas you can also use it on the electric so let's just go over to the habitation door so if you can just see it on the habitation door at the control panel we can use it on 500 watt a thousand and 2000 so we can have the fire on the 230 but just let me take you over to somewhere here we've got the consumer unit so i'll show you everything this basically mimics the control panel so if i switch that off now there's the pump's gone off so the pump's gone off on the control panel um, lights and also leisure battery or vehicle battery now reverse plurality we can use when we're abroad that's the battery charger now see the little space heater here that space heater there has to be switched on for them lights to work so if i switch that off now let's go back and go back to here and put the fire on look nothing works if you just just keep the camera on there finn i'll switch it back on over on the space heater and has the light come back on yeah so don't forget must keep that on the other thing as well if we want to use the hot water on the electric if we go to the control panel here and just press that on there water heater that's now warming the the, the water heater up for your water basically so that must be switched on there to use the hot water on the electric but we have another option show you back over the habitation door we can also use the hot water on the gas and that's just lit now so hot water can be used on gas and electric fire can be used on gas and electric quickly into the shower area so what we've got cassette toilet press the button nothing works the reason being is because we haven't got the pump on remember on the control part on the consumer unit i switched the pump off so let's go back in again there we go see the water going around and then we have a little gray flap there now if we pull that that empties the water out so we're pretty much done actually we've got showed you how the fire works showed you how the fridge works um because i've got a hook up here i'm just going to move that onto electric showed you how the fridge works. we showed you how to get the heat in the blown air um we've shown you also how the cassette works we have a microwave above so again that works off 230 so if you've not got um, a hook up in you won't be able to use a microwave um there's got to be something else yeah we've got an extractor fan above here which this this one works off 12 volts so we can draw air out and then we can draw air in that switches it off and also we do it does open up as well the skylight and quickly because i will forget fresh water drain off come on thing keep up so fresh water drain off If we just see, there we go, there's the fresh water drain off. And if you can see the pipe there, that's running to the fresh water tank. Right, towards the front of the van, we have a big skylight letting a lot of light in. Dead simple, we just turn it. And that lifts the skylight up. Turn it back down again. Now, see there, it's still flapping up. Make sure. There we go, I've got a bit of resistance now, that's closed. And can you see now, skylight's down. Again, loads of catches, plenty of hatches here. The storage. And then I do like the lighting above the, um, above the hatches as well. And then a good spot, we've got the TV aerial. We've also got another plug. Again, let's put them on. Little LED lights and then we have a TV uh, bracket there as well and then we've got the bed um, these beds are easily made up so we just pull across then we pull the other one across and obviously they'll meet in the middle and then we pull everything down to make the bed and then what we've also got if we lift that up we've got good storage underneath the van well sorry underneath the bench seat and same again on the other side 
So jack and wheel brace underneath the passenger seat. And then another added touch as well. We've got a little seat there, a little table here that we can pull around. And both the seats do swivel. So, um, full berth, two belted seats. So there's your little problem there. But it's a good two berth van because you've got two really big long bench seats there. We've got the kitchen area at the back. You've got your separate shower, don't forget. And then you've got your fridge and your heating system and hot water. Um, so yeah, good van, 2011. This van's probably gonna set you back anywhere between 35 and 40,000 pounds. So if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to us and even more like us and do all that kind of thing. And we'll see you in the next motorhome.